to another video. Um, it's gonna be my first in a little mini series of the decks I'm currently playing. Um, the next video after this one will be coming out shortly after. Um, but as you can see, this is a Sky Striker deck profile. Um, this is more of a budget, but not really a uh, deck profile. Um, this is currently what I'm going to be playing. Um, I'm going to have a few tidbits on what I'm going to change out for when the new support comes out that I'm very excited that just uh, got released as of like today filming it to be in um, a quote unquote holiday box in November, which I'm very excited for. So before we get into this video, um, I'm going to just say this now, the shameless plug, uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, comment down below what decks you want to see in the near future, or if you have any recommendations. Um, I try to respond to all my comments, and yeah. Let's go. So, starting off with the monsters, um, you got the three ray, best card in the deck. Got the mid-trash priorities, because I'm too broke to <laughs> actually get new ones. Um, this card's busted. It's, it's what you need. Um... Sadly, the new Aileron's card, um, it wasn't good, and uh, I'm a little upset about that. Uh, the new manga's good, uh, but yeah. Uh, now Rose, it's not the best. Um, I'm gonna be cutting one of these for um, the new, uh, sorry about the light, um, Ham, uh, once that comes out, just because uh, you're not gonna need to see it as many names. Um, that's it for those exact Sky Striker monsters. Um, for the rest of the monsters, you play the one pink. This is a blind second build. Um, I kind of just like it. Um, if you, you're gonna see it in my new, uh, in the rest of my deck profiles, I'm gonna be using in the near future. I love my blind second decks, so obviously I'd rather go with this. Uh, so that's it for the monsters. You're just gonna be actually summoning. Um, yeah, uh, I kind of have been thinking about up upping the rows, but until the support comes out, but I don't think I'm going to, just because you kind of brick when you see too many, but you also brick even harder when you don't see them at all. Um, that's the one unfortunate thing, but you normally see one, which is good. Um, for the hand traps, uh, a lot of people play a ton more hand traps than me in this deck. I personally don't think that is correct. Um, I am more an advocate for board breakers, but that's just me. Um, got the three mage match rarity ashes. I can't afford them. <laughs> The same one. These cards are like thirty dollars each now. It's ridiculous, um, but it, you need to play it. Um, my personal favorite hand trap. Um, I've been up thinking about upping it to three. Um, I kind of just don't think it's necessary. It's still a hard one to return. It comes up a little bit less, and then with the people I'm normally playing with, it doesn't come up as much. But in the grand scheme of things, I think this is a wonderful hand trap that is going to be mainstay in the future, even after this format. So that's it for the monsters. I think there's 11 in total. Um, I don't think there's anything I would change except when the new support comes out. So yeah. Um, now onto the spells for the Sky Striker spells. Uh, it's relatively standard. You got the three Widow Anchor, uh, best card in the deck. Uh, nothing to say about it. It's, it's wonderful. Um, Two Shark Cannon. Uh, this is the blind second build. So most people don't play as two in it. They just normally the one. I think this card comes up so much. It is wonderful just taking the DP or going to like build up your board and stealing things and it's just a wonderful card. Um I'm kind of sad it doesn't negate it. Like um I don't know. It doesn't negate it like uh called by the grave. Uh, it's a little bit unfortunate on that side, but besides that it's a wonderful card. Um best card in the deck engage. Um it, it's a plus one. It's it's incredible when you have the three engrave. Um, next best one, uh, you got multi roll. I didn't know this until recently, but it triggers on your opponent's end base too. That like, I lost so many games <laughs> just me not reading. Just the curse of being a Yu Gi Oh player. But this card is busted. Um, yeah, it's really really good. Um, play the one Horn of Drones. Um, this card's actually really cool for lean climbing. I didn't think about it when I was uh, picking up this deck. Um, but there's just some times where you can search it out and then just like, if, if you have like this in rows, you can like 
activate this, summon uh, Kagari, add this back, summon one out, or summon this again. Um, and then uh, summon, uh, Hi not the Hayate, uh, the Rose from Hand. Um, and it just helps you like lean climb. And it's actually really, really good. Um, yeah. And then you got the one air zero. Um, honestly, yeah, I think the best part about this is, is how you can just send it off the um, multi-roll. That's the best part in my opinion. Uh, I've been thinking about playing more, but I don't, I don't think it's necessary. I think it's just a one of, and then with the terraforming, it, it just works. Um, and then you got the one afterburners. Uh, this card is busted. I think I'm gonna start playing more because it's just, Honestly, the first effect is okay, the, just to destroy a monster, but the second effect to pop a spell or trap, uh, this game, this entirely let me win some games, like playing against like Eldritch or something like that, or like Earth Machine the other day. Um, I was able to pop a skill drain um, that otherwise would have just destroyed me, but I searched this off the engage and it just like, it won me the game. Um, so it was really nice. So that's it for the Sky, Stri Sky Striker spells. Um, now onto the more generic spells. Um, I think this card is a mandatory three of in this deck. Um, a lot of people say, I mean, you can play Lightning Storm over this, obviously, but I think I just like it. Uh, it was just Regeki, uh, the three Regeki. I've seen people play one of it. No, I think it's a mandatory three of uh, just because for presence and just when it does go through, like people say it's not because of the boards, but I think this is just like, it baits the gates if necessary. But if it does, if your opponent has no negates, it just wipes the board and it's really, really good. Um, to pair with it, uh, Forbidden Chalice, you can, like, Regeki, they chain bear and chain chalice and gate. It's a one for one spell and it's really good as well. Um, yeah, nothing to say about that. Uh, that's it for the three of spells. Um, for two of got the two triple tactics. Um, this card's really, really good. <laughs> Um, especially for the going second build, uh, it just, I think the draw two is just so good. Um, very occasionally I do use the steel. I've stole the Tribune a few times, um, which really ended up saving me. Um, so that was nice. Um, the other two of we play is the two Cosmics. Um, I'm just gonna throw this here, then the one Duster. That's what I play for back removal. I love main decking back removal. Removal. I'm unable to English today. Um, so yeah. Um, now onto the one ofs. Uh, another copy of Ray called by. Um, some people say this can come off to like two or three. I say personally no. I mean, I would love to see it come off, but this card is incredible. Um, my least favorite card in the deck, but at the same time, it's such a good card. Mystic Mine, the one terraforming. Um, this is what I'm thinking I'm gonna cut for the two Sky Shark Race linkage when it comes out. Um, just because I don't think it's gonna be necessary anymore. Um, and then the last one up, we got the one upstart. So that's it for the spells. And then for the only traps we only play, the three Imper. Uh, so yeah. It's just a nice 40 card concise list. I don't really think there's anything I'll change until the new support comes out. So yeah, now for the extra. This is um, the only iffy part about this list. Um, you got a really, really standard uh, Sky Striker lineup. Uh, you got the three, three, two, one, one. I've been thinking about upping the Zeke to two. I just don't have the uh, second copy of it. Um, I've been trying to get one, but I just haven't had time. Um, it works really well. Honestly, the Hayate, I feel like I need another one. Um, that's also just for the same, for the sole reason I am playing the Wind Charmer. Um, it's a little bit of a controversial pick. But I really, really like it. I like the Wind Charmer and playing both uh, the Hita. Um, I might cut the Wind Charmer for the Dark Charmer once I can get my hands on it. Um, but yeah, that, that's what I play for those. Um, for cards that I'm probably gonna cut, I'll probably be cutting the Phoenix. It just doesn't come up really. Um, 
if I'm going for a Link 2, I'd rather go for one of these three rather than the Phoenix so I can just get, um, just summon back something with like the Wind Steal a Baron or like an Ash to link up. Um, you can play the Hawk and the Selene. Uh, if you are, I would recommend playing the, uh, the one that protects your things, uh, Eagle Booster, I think that's what's called. Um, but regardless, it's too fragile. Um, I play the Unicorn. Um, this card is good. I don't actually really use its effect too often, just because I'm just going straight into Axis Code and I'd rather just not lose the card advantage. It comes up when it comes up. Yeah. So that's it for the deck profile. Um, nice, solid 40 cards. Um, I'm excited to take this to, um, any tournaments that in the near future because all that is opening back up really soon um sadly YC is passing it wasn't where in person where I live but that's fine um I hope you enjoyed uh comment down below anything you'd like to see and yeah hit that like button and subscribe and this is Wowser7 signing off